subscribe, like the video if you like it, and share it to friends if you might need it. This video is because I saw it in the comments, so if you have something you like when you do, leave it down in the comments and check it out. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. For, for this song, you don't need a capo, so it's open strings, and the guitar is going to be in standard tuning. Also, this song has like one repeating melody throughout the entire song, so that's what you're going to be mainly playing throughout the whole song. So what you're going to need is the string open, and then fourth string first fret, and then you're going to play that two times, so... And then you're gonna play 4th string 3rd fret and then 4th string 1st fret. And you're gonna play that two times as well. And then for the intro, you're gonna be playing that pattern four times in general. So you're gonna be playing this. Two. Three. And then you're gonna go on to the part where you start singing intro for the intro intro which is pretty much the intro to the song where you have to start singing you're gonna be playing that exact same thing and you're gonna be playing the exact same pattern four times as well and then go on to the for the first verse you're gonna be playing the exact same thing that you played in the intro but the only difference is that instead of playing the pattern four times you're gonna be playing it eight times and then after you play the pattern eight times for the first verse you're gonna be playing some chords so the first chord you're gonna play is a C5 and then you're gonna play a G sharp power chord, and then a G power chord. So to play a C5 is gonna be fifth string, third fret, fourth string, fifth fret, and third string, fifth fret. And to play a G sharp power chord is gonna be sixth string, fourth fret, fifth string, sixth fret, and fourth string, sixth fret. And to play a G power chord is gonna be sixth string, third fret, fifth string, fifth fret, and fourth string, fifth fret. So for the strumming pattern, for the C5, you're gonna be playing down, down, down down and then for this G sharp power chord you're gonna play down 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 and then for the G power chord you're just gonna play it down once so this is the pattern you're gonna be playing then you're gonna repeat that pattern for the entirety of four times for the second half of the verse and then you're gonna go to the chorus so for the chorus you're gonna be playing the exact same chord progression that you played in the first verse but the only difference is going to be how you strum it so for the c5 you're just going to strum down down and then for the g sharp you're just going to strum down once and then for the g you're just going to strum down once so and then repeat it three more times for the chorus so for the chorus you're going to be repeating that pattern for the entirety of four times and then go on to the second verse. And so for the next verse, it's gonna be played the exact same way as the first verse. And then you go on to the last chorus. And for this chorus, it's gonna be played the exact same way as the previous chorus. The only difference is on the fourth time when you're playing this pattern. After you play the G sharp once, you don't play the G power chord. You just go to playing what you play in the intro, which is. is gonna go to playing that pattern and you're gonna play that pattern eight times and then the song's gonna end. So this is how the whole song sounds like all together.
Video help, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to more videos like this, share it to a friend think might need it, leave a comment down below on what tutorial you would like to see next. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you next time.